Hi kids, it's Ruby and Syra back with more writing tips. Today we're going to be talking about the structure of a story. Knowing how to create a story structure is one of the most important parts of writing a story. It's the framework of what happens. It allows readers to make sense of what the series of events you've presented them with. A story structure consists of exposition, rising action, climax, falling action, and resolution. This is what the basic plot diagram looks like. As you can see, it kind of looks like a mountain. We will explain each part throughout the video. The exposition gives the reader a main picture of what the story is about, such as the setting, characters, and their backstories. The exposition also describes the current situation or gives historical context. Next, we have the rising action, which is a series of events leading to the climax. You can think of it as climbing up the mountain. It begins with an incident or complication. It's typically the longest part in the story, builds tension or suspense, and it ends with the climax. The climax is the turning point of the story. Here's how to identify the climax. It's the peak of the story. It often answers the story's biggest questions. It marks the beginning of the story's resolution or falling action. Next, we have falling action. Falling action carries the plot from the climax to the resolution. You can also think of it as going down the mountain. The falling action winds down the tension. It sometimes introduces a new conflict, and the falling action ends with the resolution. The final part of the story is the resolution. The conflict is resolved and the story comes to an end. Every story has a resolution because every beginning needs an end. Your goal should be to tie up any loose ends of the story, and a good resolution shows characters have grown throughout your story. The resolution can also set up sequels. Thanks for watching! And remember, if you need any help, feel free to reach out to either Syra or myself. Keep writing!